Hey, hi, hello my friends. It's Christy with 4AM Junk Journals. I am here today. Uh, I had a request over on Junk Journals Craft Some More um, to explain a little better um, how we use the giant uh, ticket as the base for the project for Scavenger Hunt 2. Um, now your, your base is listed as a map. Okay, but what you're making is a giant ticket. So um, just to kind of show you how I went about making the giant ticket that I used for this one. Um, so I, I just, I did this one this morning or yesterday morning. I don't know. I did this one yesterday, I think. Um, all right, so what I have here is a big, long piece of paper. I'm not going to bother measuring it right now. All I'm going to do is um, put some glue on it, on about half of it. Now, you can measure it to keep from wasting, um, but I'm just going to glue the whole thing. Now this is like a light cardstock weight, and all I'm going to do is fold it in half. Again, feel free to measure before you glue if that's what you want to do. But since I know that I'll be making more than one of these, I'm just going to do it this way. Then I'm going to bring my, and I just used an Elmer's glue stick because I'm going to sew. If you're not going to sew, um, you know, use a glue, a glue or a glue stick that you know you can rely on to stay. Um, but I am going to stitch, so I'm not worried about it. Um, I want this to be, so the minimum size is three and a half by five. I'm going four by six. That's the same size I used with this one. And um, that's what I'm going to do here. So first thing I want to do is measure four inches this way. And then I will go six this way. Okay. Actually, that one's going to come out a little small, so it wouldn't have mattered anyway, but that's all right. So that's giving me a four by six solid piece. It's heavy duty enough to be a ticket, right? Um, and then the next thing I want to do is to bring in my one inch corner, uh, or I'm sorry, one inch circle punch. And I'm just going to put it in here like this. Choose about the size I think I want. And then try and get them about the same. Now you can do this and draw around it and all of that. But that's too much work. I'm just going to see if I can get close. Generally speaking, I can guesstimate it close enough to be happy with it. And if it's not quite right, I can always go back and take out a little more. But that looks good to me. So now I've got my base ticket. From this point, it's really just decorating it, okay? Because you've got the base of your project. Um, now, what I want to do is I'm going to bring in my map. And I'm just going to cover up the entire ticket, the entire front of the ticket with the map. So the props for this project are, um, other than your base map, are um, 
a dream destination, so you need to represent your dream destination, a path, a uh, dream destination path, check boxes, stapling, path, check boxes, stapling. Somebody help me out. What am I forgetting? Oh, and a means of travel. Um, so, for instance, if you look at the one I did, um, my dream destination is this uh, place in Italy. I believe it's Toblock. Toblock. I'm, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. This is where the biggest um, or most popular, according to the internet, um, Krampus Run takes place every year. Um, this year, I believe it was December the 5th, I think. And I've always wanted to go to the Krampus Run. Now, I thought I wanted to go to Germany, but apparently the biggest one is in Italy, right? So, um, so that's my dream destination represented there. These are also pictures of uh, that destination um and i just took those and put them on there um and then i've got for check boxes i have this here and i also put in this one um and cut it into a flag now these were just planner stickers and they worked perfectly for means of transportation i have uh the foot the feet of um krampus and I just kind of created a border there with his feet. Um, I also have him kind of represented there. Um, for the path, I just drew in my path um, in several different ways. So it comes from up there as well. And so, yeah. So, oh, and stapling I put right there. So that's how I put that one together. And then I stitched around the whole thing and um, did some inking and fun stuff like that. So for this one, I have a United States map. Um, because it's... Now you can do this any way you want. You can make this um, steampunk, you can make this vintage, you can make this modern, um, any kind of... Uh, Anything that you have in mind that you like works.
All right, guys, so that is it. That is how I make uh, the Scavenger Hunt 2 project. So you'll see we have our giant ticket that is the base of the project. Um, well, actually, it's the project. The project is the giant ticket. The base is actually the map, if that makes any sense at all. You need the ticket, you need the map. Um, we have the check boxes. We have a representative of um, our dream location or destination which again is the ocean or the beach so I have that um, we have a means of transportation we have a path which I created there it is you can just barely see it but there's the little arrows right there okay so one more time check boxes represents destination means of transportation uh, path stapling down the sides and the map on the background and it is a giant ticket all right guys thank you so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed this i hope you found it useful or at the very least entertaining i hope that you crafted along with me and i hope you'll join me again for another video very soon if you like what you saw today be sure and give me a big thumbs up if you'd like to see more from this channel hit that subscribe button and if you click the little bell it will notify you every time i upload a new video leave me a comment down below let me know what you think let me know what you're crafting today drop me a picture i'd love to see it i'll talk with all of you again soon bye for now bye